Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for another quick and easy hair tutorial. I have two other videos that I really wanted to do this week, but I need a little bit more time to plan them. So please let me know which one you'd want to see first, um, this Maddie and Morphe collection and tutorial or this Love Witch look. Comment down below, I'll gauge the enthusiasm for next week's video, but I wanted to share this quick and easy bun. It's textured and braided. You can like wear this in a sweater to the grocery store or on a date. It's just very versatile and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hopefully you noticed my attempt at digital art in the intro. I'm trying to learn Procreate as a new skill. I finally got an iPad, I've been wanting one for forever and yeah, I've been learning with Skillshare. So this video is in partnership with Skillshare and if you don't know what that is, I'm sure you guys, a lot of you do, but it is an online learning community and there's over 25,000 courses taught by professionals. You can learn about art, photography, videography, like a lot of creative stuff, but they also have like business classes and the course that I am taking right now is by Jerome Vogel and he's teaching um, digital illustration on Procreate. And now the really awesome thing that Skillshare is doing is they're giving away two free months of their premium membership to the first thousand people who click the link in my bio. So pretty amazing. You can learn new skills or you know something that you wanted to learn in quarantine. And then after the two months free, it is $10 per month. I chose Procreate because a lot of you have sent me amazing digital illustrations and it's inspired me. So thank you. And hopefully you get inspired with this hairstyle as well. So long intro, but let's get into it. Part of the reason I love this look is it's great for second or third day hair and we can work with the texture. I'm gonna use some dry shampoo. My favorite dry shampoos are the OGX Mermaid Mist and Pantene Waterless Dry Shampoo. I still use those ones, but I was at the drugstore and forgot how much I used to love the tropical scented Batiste uh, dry shampoo. So I bought it and it just smells so good. And I'm working this into my roots for some lift. And most of the looks when I'm taking photos, I do add a three clip weft of extensions so that I don't get holes in the braid or the bun because my hair is thinner, looks a lot better um, in photographs, but this is always optional. I just like to show it so you guys know when I'm using extensions and when I'm not, but you definitely don't have to do this. And if you do have extensions, less is usually better to clip in because it's much easier to hide the clips, especially with thin hair, and you want to section off low in the back of the hairline, but still have enough hair to cover the weft. Also, clip this upwards so it lays flat into the high pony. Very similar start to my five minute perky ponytail tutorial, but here I'm not going to slick it back and make sure the hair is going in perfect, but keep it looser because we will make this area more textured. Once you have a sturdy elastic in, take your fingers and pull up small sections around the hair for a piecey texture. I especially like to do this in the middle and tossle it so I don't really have a part. And with the hanging long ponytail, this uh, texture would get really messy throughout the day from the weight of the pony moving around. But once the bun is pinned in place, the texture stays and won't get all wonky. Now create a tight braid with the length of the pony. You want the base of the braid not to be too loose because when the bun is wrapped, it will create a big bubble. And a tip for long hair or hair with layers, once you're at the point when your strands are different lengths and the braid can't go on, just redivide the bottom into three by taking some of the longer or thicker strands into the other two and then, you know, continue to braid. Secure with an elastic, I'd usually use a mini one, I just couldn't find any, so I'm using a thicker elastic here. And let's loop around the back and have the braided portion facing the front. Play with this shape and let's use bobby pins to secure to the scalp. I like to bring the sides of the braid farther out so it's more like a wider crown shape. And then I'll fluff out the back of the braided loops to get more height from the front. You do want to spread out the loops gently after you've already pinned for the least amount of flyaways and it's easier for your hair to really keep that bun shape with um, dense hair instead of like pulling the braid to be thinner at the beginning. And we only have one more styling step. Take down some face framing pieces. Try to do this lightly. I take my fingers and feather around my hairline so I only take down what falls easily because pulling too much can really disrupt the style. You get another bubble there. And one of my favorite products that used to be my least favorite actually from OGX is the Natural Finish Plus Aspen Extract Dry Texture Finishing Spray. I guess I just 
didn't use it for the right um, technique when I first tried it, but it's great for adding a bit of grit and texture. So I miss this into the PC style again, and then I group those sections that I've already created together and give it a little rub between my fingers with the product, and it just really makes sure that you get that cool effect. And there we have the completed bun. I know this is so easy. Sometimes I think you might want to only see more elaborate looks, but this is a style that I keep wearing, especially because it's so hot right now and it's nice to have the hair out of the face, but still styled. So let me know what you think. And I've been posting my outfits over on Instagram and the details for these everyday makeup looks um, are also on Instagram if you want to know what products are used. I do get asked to do more like everyday tutorials, but then they really don't perform. So I'm trying to do more of that on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial this week. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. I would love to see you rocking this style. So be sure to tag me over on Instagram if you try it out so I can feature you in my next video. And another Skillshare course I need to take is video production. My windows are not soundproof, it is pouring rain, and uh, you can hear all the traffic all the time. So some of you guys have commented on my audio in the intro, and I know, I am sorry. I have a mic on, I've tried without a mic, I've tried many different things, but it just isn't great quality right now, so bear with me. But uh, hopefully you liked the video, and I am excited to learn more on Skillshare. It's a really awesome community, so I really encourage you guys to check out the link down below and get a free membership. And anyways, I will see you in my next video.